So I'm starting my beef with Boogie 2988 arc. Um, <laughs> not really. Like, I have no real beef with Boogie. But um, I watched a video that Demon Mama put out. Um, shout out to Demon Mama, by the way. Go watch her video about Boogie. It was very interesting. She kind of goes through the history of Boogie, like the downfall of Boogie more specifically, and some of the bad financial decisions that he made and the weird political takes that he had which were like overly centrist um so centrist that like he's trying to appease fascists while trying to present himself as somebody who's reasonable it's just such a great video demon mama never misses so check that out but with that being said i watched demon mama's video and it kind of had me wondering what the fuck is Boogie up to? Because I used to be an avid Boogie2988 fan. Like, I watched uh, most of his videos. I was subscribed for years. Uh, and I came for the gaming content. I didn't even know about the Francis character. Like, I saw one of his videos about a particular game. Like, I can't remember specifically. But I watched his gaming content. Uh, and I really liked his gaming takes. Um, he's a nerd just like me. And so, you know, uh, I like to hear people talk about games. I'm subscribed to a lot of gaming channels. Spawn Wave, RGT, Dreamcast Guy, love them. But um, eventually he started to kind of do more of these rambling videos where he would just talk about himself and his life. And, you know, I think that that can be cathartic for other people if you're talking about mental health issues and your divorce. Like, I understand why there's a need for that. But for me, like, I didn't really subscribe for that. I came for um, I came for the gaming stuff. And so when basically the proportion of videos was like mostly videos about himself, that's when I, I checked out. It's like, okay, if there's not really any gaming videos, you have like a Francis video every now and then, but it's just mostly videos about yourself. I'm sorry, brother. I can't be your psychiatrist. I can't I can't watch this anymore. So I, I unsubscribed a couple of years ago. Um, and um, yeah, watched Demon Mama's video and I checked out his content. And I've got to say, I'm pleased to see that there's more videos about um about gaming, which which is encouraging. But look at the turn that he's taken here. So, Super Mario Bros is neither woke or nor anti-woke, so a very predictably boogie take. Um, you know, you see, where was it? There was one that really stood out to me, which is what we're going to react to. Hershey's candy bar canceled and boycotted. So he's not like leaning all in on this like SJW stuff. He's, he's not necessarily trying to go down his anti SJW arc and become the next quartering, but there's some videos in here where you just, you have to. <laughs> You have to point it out and think, God damn, this is really sad. Yeah, that's a soy facing. Too much soy facing. See, this one you just invert it. It's the same soy face, but you, you understand. Basically, like, the best way to characterize Boogie is uh, with this Anthony Fantano tweet, right? There's not a fence Boogie won't sit on and proclaim, this is my opinion, deal with it. Because that's literally what he does. And after watching this video, specifically the video about the Hershey's candy bar, He's doing it still. He's still doing the thing. Okay, so I wanted to play this video and react to it because it is so bad and just embarrassing for a number of reasons. And by the way, this is what Anthony Fantano was responding to, the Steven Crowder, Carlos Maza situation. Remember when Steven Crowder um, was harassing Carlos Maza and Carlos Maza was like, hey, this is what's happening? This was Boogie's stance. Fuck Steven Crowder. Fuck Fox Media. I don't care that much about their personal pissing contest. I care about YouTube as a platform and thousands of innocent creators. So, like, when there is a particular issue, Boogie will find a way to insert himself in this conversation, needlessly so, and just present us with an unnecessary centrist take that nobody fucking asked for. Asked for. So, let's watch this video here of Boogie... Responding to the Hershey's controversy. And yeah, it's only six minutes, so we're probably going to watch all of it. But this, I watched this whole thing and it blew my mind. Uh, today's news is the nuclear war, uh, World War Three. 
People are arguing over a candy bar. Okay, Boogie. Just to be clear, nobody's arguing over a candy bar. Conservatives, as they usually do, flipped out because a trans woman was featured on a Hershey candy bar. So he's already trying to both sides this, but I mean, you can't really put too much stock into that. Okay. International Women's Day is coming up in like six days from the day I make this video. And Hershey's, which is a company that makes literally chocolate-flavored poison for humans to consume, has decided that they want to get in on the act. No, it's bad enough that we're talking about a, a, a chocolate company using International Women's Day as a way to sell chocolate to people. That should be enough to piss you off. But it gets worse. Hershey's also made this ad featuring a trans woman by the name of Faye Johnstone, this is classic bait, and do not think any other way. They know exactly what they're doing at Hershey's or whichever advertisement company they hired to get involved with this. And people took the bait, and we're going to look at that, and we're going to make fun of them a little bit. Now, I think that these corporations oftentimes do things like this to kind of like merit a reaction. Uh, or, or try to get a reaction, right? But, like, he's got to understand that, like, saying featuring a trans woman is inherently rage-baiting. That's not the problem of the company in this instance or the trans woman. That's the problem of the transphobes. Red comment says, watch his Hogwarts Legacy video. Oh, God. Maybe we'll check it out after this, but um, let's continue with this one. I can only imagine what he said about that. It's going to be uh, I, well, Actually, I can't imagine. It's probably... Listen, I'm going to play it, but if you don't want to play it, that's fine. So, uh, that's my opinion. It's a hot take, but if you want to play the game, play it. If you don't want to play it, don't play it. That's probably what he said, but anyways. But just remember, this is all designed to be outrage bait. And they don't give a shit if they hurt women or they hurt trans people in the process. Genuinely, they don't give a fuck. As usual. Okay, so I'm trying to remember because I watched this a week ago. When he said, oh, they don't care if they hurt women or trans women. That's when it's like, okay, you can see that, like... He doesn't necessarily want to be transphobic seemingly, but like he's so clumsy and like obtuse in the way that he discusses this that you just you can't not be so taken aback by the way that he discusses this. He likes these types of advertisement campaigns and you shouldn't. I leaning left, I don't like them because I feel like women and trans people are people. Not a tool to be used to sell your new electric vehicle or your sugary drink or your chocolate flavored poison. These are actual people with real social issues and these social issues should not be used to sell your terrible products. Then there's people like this, uh, which is mind boggling to me. I guess they just don't like that trans people exist. But he's like, goodbye, Hershey. I love you for many years. You brought a lot of happiness to my sweet tooth. Now you've gone woke and this is unforgivable. You'll never even receive another dollar from me or my family ever again. I hope you go bankrupt for your I just gotta pause it. Look at how go woke, go broke is trending. Like, this was posted one month ago. I mean, the woke shit is just unending. But <laughs> I digress. See, this is insane. Taking a look at this guy's profile, I think his problem isn't that... You know, these types of ads are bad for women or bad for trans people. He just doesn't like the fact that trans people and women exist. <laughs> he doesn't He doesn't want Hershey's taking part in International Women's Day. And I can't say that he's entirely wrong. I want to know where the money's going. Because when you look at Hershey's own blog about this, they say they're proud to recognize, honor, and uplift women and girls. They are showcasing the power of women around the world. Uh, and their global activation... Activations include meaningful partnerships, celebratory packaging, and inspirational storytelling. Where's the money going, though? It's going into your pocket. Why, is it going to help women? Is it going to save women's lives? Is it going to, to help women in oppressive countries? No. It's going back into your pocket so you can keep making people around the world fat. This isn't... Me when I learn about capitalism for the first time. And as usual, this has got people on Twitter tweeting hashtag boycott. Hershey's. And as we all know, that there'll probably be some people on the right who hate wokeism, who hate uh, what about trans the left? women, who hate women in general, 
on the right-hand side boycotting Hershey's, but this is going to get a bunch of leftists to <laughs> rush down to their local Walmart and buy a bunch of Hershey's in support of that. But no one see, every, like everything is framed from this side's going to do this, then this side is going to do that. Boogie, you, you you say you're a leftist, right? But just ask yourself this question. Are you going to rush out and buy something because a company was woke? Like you claim you're a leftist, right? But like most of us don't give a shit. I don't base my purchases on a company that is or isn't woke because in a capitalist society, there is no ethical consumption under capitalism. But regardless, you know, let's let them continue. There's a crap that it makes the culture war around women, around trans people, versus left versus right, worse. They don't care as long as they're selling their garbage chocolate. It is garbage chocolate. As a fat man, let me promise you, I would rather put any other brand of chocolate in my face than a fucking Hershey's bar. And if you're wondering whether or not a Hershey's knows they're doing damage, of course they do. This is a company that uses child slaves to pick its chocolate. So yep. no, no real big surprise. They're not exactly humanitarians. I do have to say, and therefore, aren't conservatives dipshits for thinking that these companies care at all about morality or social causes? He doesn't make that logical leap. But now what he's going to do is review some of the memes that he likes. And you're going to be incredibly shocked to learn that he finds right wing memes funny, but also left wing memes funny too. <laughs> it's just, it's, <laughs> It's unbelievable. Some of these memes are pretty fire, though. Even though I know... Is, is this a fire meme, though? They've been using the same fucking meme for, like, five years, and I'm sorry. Like, this is me just trying to live my life. Evangelicals! He's gonna come up with a fire left-wing meme, too. He did from a right-handed account. I, As a leftist, I agree, man. I'm just trying to buy chocolate. I was definitely going to walk by Hershey's to get something better, though. Here's another good one. I can excuse slavery, but I draw the line at trans people. You can excuse slavery? But now, in an effort to find the actual conversation- You're so clowning on the left, clowning, clowning on the right. You just gotta, you know, as long as you're balancing equal, then everybody's happy, according to Boogie. But in this instance, I don't think that he realizes is that, like, your fence setting is so egregious and so offensive that nobody's gonna be happy. Shouldn't that Hershey's is using to sell their chocolate here. Should trans women be used to promote International Women's Day? And I okay, he's gonna get to his thesis here in a moment. So he posed the thesis question. Should trans women be used to promote women on the International Day of Women? Now, does anyone want to take a guess as to what his thesis statement is gonna be? Is he going to, going to come out swinging saying trans women are women so of course when we're honoring women trans women have to be included in that conversation or is he going to come out on the right hand side and say no of course not like this is about cis women and trans women shouldn't be in you know cis women spaces is he going to go full turf well the option is none of the above because this motherfucker is going to concoct a position so centrist that i didn't even anticipate him saying this like i thought he would come out with a, well, you know, if you, if you support it, buy Hershey's. If you don't, don't. Uh, but it's such an egregious, like, insufferable centrist position that it, like, almost blew my mind when I watched this. But let's listen. A few things to say about that. I don't think anybody's going to like it. I mean, this is the thing that got... Oh, spicy take. We got to go back to the Fantano meme. There's not a fence Boogie won't sit on and proclaim, this is my opinion, deal with it. Take it or leave it. I'm going to sit on this fence and everyone's going to be offended, but <laughs> it's so bold. JK Rowling is so much trouble as well. So I don't know if I should offer my opinion here because I'm not a woman, but I'm going to offer it. Uh, so let's, let's get canceled. I genuinely don't know. <laughs> <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> that, honestly, that is the most centrist way you can respond to this. I don't know. <laughs> like what the fuck, buggy? <laughs> How? This man is an expert like level 99 at being a fucking centrist it is genuinely insane to me like it takes skill to be this much of a fence sitter and he's got that skill like he has a phd in sitting on the fucking fence holy shit i don't know you know <laughs> um i've seen people get canceled and i'm ready to get canceled so what is my opinion i don't know boogie 
Bro, this is why I stopped watching you. It's just the most milk toast, banal shit ever. But still offensive at the end of the day. Because again, like we're you're you can't equate two sides here, right? It goes back to the climate change debate, right? Like to even suggest that there's a debate is a dub for the right. Because there's 99.9% of scientists and then there's dipshits who are oftentimes funded by the fossil fuel industry. Like to even pretend as if these two sides are equal is egregious. Now, when it comes to the trans issue, well, there's trans people who want to exist and there are transphobes who don't want them to exist, who want to eradicate transgenderism. So to even try to carve out a space in the middle is deeply offensive because if you don't just automatically side with the people who want to exist, I mean, it's kind of a default win for the bigots in this instance, right? special day for trans women should trans women be celebrated on international women's day should there even be an international women's day because we're all humans i don't know i think it's an extremely complicated topic i have a gut feeling that says maybe trans people deserve their own day and that's when we should celebrate them beautiful just the, the, everyone's happy right we can have fucking international women's day and an international trans women's day and nobody will be mad i can guarantee that like if you go back to like 20 uh, 2004 boogie supported civil unions because he's like listen there are some people who want gay marriages and some people who don't want gay marriages but civil unions is the perfect compromise like holy shit dude just take a fucking stand and don't pretend like you're being bold if you are like sitting on the fucking fence i remember he got in a lot of trouble and demon Mom, demon mama talked about this too in her video when he was on h3 podcast and this was after we already had marriage equality but he's like look uh you know i support gay marriage i have gay friends but you know if the gay people just waited longer then we could have given them marriage it's like excuse me try to get it done right now there's gonna be a huge backlash okay so let's let's try to do it in 20 years in 10 years and let's see if we can avoid the backlash. What the fuck, Boogie? But here's what I do know. Hershey's should stay the fuck out of it. You're so a bold. chocolate company, you dipshits. And make them so fun. fucking brave. I don't know what the answer is, but I know that Hershey's is bad. Can we all just like applaud this man here? This is so brave, so courageous. The amount of courage that it takes to have the stance of i don't know but hershey's bad i mean he must have like been really nervous to post this video holy shit mistake hershey's knows that they are sowing the divide further they know they're pitting the left versus the right and invigorating bigots and invigorating people on the left and making everyone angry all for the purposes of selling their subpar disgusting chocolate bars like Lintz doesn't exist. Like Russell Stover's doesn't exist. You ain't even real chocolate, Hershey's. So that was a hell of a way to start my day. I'm going to go have some lunch. And I probably will finish it off with not a Hershey's dessert. Damn. Not because of the boycott. Not because of this controversy. Just because it's shitty chocolate. As always. Th wow. Just... <laughs> This is a serious question. Has Boogie ever, like, taken a political stance with zero caveats whatsoever? Where it was, like, explicitly left-leaning or right-leaning, like, on anything? Has he ever done that?